how are you not lukewarm? This is the question that I've been asking myself lately. What makes me not lukewarm? And I'm having difficulty coming up with a good answer. And I, I know that that is one of the, the problems in the end times, if we're living in the end times. So I want to go over in Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, very quickly. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. You could read this yourself, right at the end of uh, chapter 3 of Revelation. So, uh, many of us, we know these verses, we've heard of this, right? The lukewarm, the Laodiceans. And of course, all of us, wherever we are, if we're just in our homes or we belong to some church, you definitely don't think it's you. You don't think you're the Laodiceans. And you and your church or your friends or in your own Bible study may have come up with who you identified as the Laodiceans. Well, I think we should just be asking the question do I really believe that the way I live is not lukewarm I mean, think about what lukewarm is what are you doing what am I doing that makes me not lukewarm what are we doing are, are we making a difference now let's go over to Matthew chapter 7 starting in verse 21. Listen to what Yeshua says. And those other verses, of course, were Jesus, Yeshua speaking too. So listen to what he says, our Savior, our Master, our Lord. What does he say in Matthew 7, verse 21? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. It's right there. It's not what we say, it's what we do. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not... Now listen to the three things that they do. These are amazing things. Have we not prophesied in your name? Right? Prophesied. To prophesy or also some people interpret this word as being inspired preaching or teaching. Have we not cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name? Like, it could be miracles. And then what does he say to them? Does he say, great, yeah, great job. No, he says, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. These were people who were, they were doing all these things in Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name. And he says, I declare to you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice. Now here's the most important word, lawlessness. You who practice lawlessness and it's great in English because the word is so clear so lawlessness it's the noun form it's being in the condition or the state of the lack of the law of not doing the law of not practicing the law so it might not be easy to say how not to be lukewarm how to be hot right because we're not to be cold it says that would that you be cold or hot right because it's easier to identify you but 
or whatever the reason is that Yeshua said that specifically. But we don't want, really want to be cold. We don't want to. We want to be hot. We want to be on fire. We want to be serving our Father and Yeshua with our whole heart, mind, body, soul, everything. And here he says, those who practice lawlessness, he's going to say to them, I don't even know you. So if you want to be, this, this is simple. I'm not recommending this, but this is simple. If you want Yeshua to say to you, I never knew you, depart from me, it's simple. Just practice lawlessness. So lawlessness, not practicing the law. Don't keep the law. What's the law? The law is the word. The law is in the Bible. Don't keep what it says in the Bible, the law. You, if you don't understand what God's law is, what our Father's law is, you need to understand what it is. Is it just the Ten Commandments? Study that. Find out. Whatever it is, you need to keep it. Not keeping it is lawlessness. And that's one piece of the puzzle. And I know I've combined two things there. But in these end times, how do we stop from being lukewarm? Please leave your comments and give some ideas to us, to me, to other brethren, to other friends out there. What do you do to not be lukewarm? I'm a teacher. I'm a language teacher. And I believe in sometimes a, a subject can be so complicated uh, in language and, or in many things that we do in life. And I believe that a, the best, one of the best, a good technique is to simplify things, to make things to break them down into simple pieces, something that's doable, something that's achievable, like a baby step, we, we might say. So I believe that in this same case, in not being lukewarm, if you think about it in the huge way, oh, I, if, if only I were living like this, if I were this person, I would not be lukewarm. I would be on fire for God. I would be on fire for for Yahweh, for my Father in Heaven, and for Yeshua. Well, instead of thinking about it like that, what are actual, small, because things that we could do? Because our Father doesn't propose anything to us that He does not believe that we can't do. He knows we can do this. Am I say, saying earning your salvation? No. You can't do anything to be saved we are saved through grace by grace Yeshua and the Father saved us but we can do something to lose that salvation we could turn our back on our Father we can say no to it and it says if you're practicing lawlessness for those of you who just believe it's grace. No, there's nothing else you can do. Stop saying that. What about the verse I just read? That's Matthew 7, verses 22 and 23. How do you explain when he says, Those of you who are practicing lawlessness, I will say to you, depart from me. That's clear. Maybe your interpretation of what lawlessness is is different. Please Tell me in the comments. Say what you think lawlessness is. But I know what the word means. Lawlessness. It's the state of being without the law. Not keeping his law. So I don't want to be lukewarm. But I can't. Honestly, when I ask myself now, right now say and I say how am I not being lukewarm I feel like I don't know if I'm doing enough I'm doing I'm living in the way and I need to that's why I'm saying it this is as much for me as for anyone else please what are you doing what's your first step what ideas do you have things that we can practically you know practically, something practical that we can do in our lives 
to not be lawless. Simple suggestions. You can be general or you can be very specific about what what you're doing. Are you thinking about this? Or are you completely satisfied in your church and in your walk? That all you need to do is pay and pray and you're saved and there's nothing else to do. You don't have to do anything in life. You just have to believe in Yeshua and just go about your life. Doesn't that sound like the definition of lukewarm? How are you not being lukewarm? Uh, please just give some constructive suggestions. Or criticize somewhere else. Although if you want to, if it makes you feel good, I'll take it. I don't mind. I hear, I've seen lots of things, but try to control the bad language because a lot of people, and even young people, read the comments sometimes. And I'd rather they don't have to see that kind of stuff. Let's hear some constructive ideas. If you don't have something good to say, go somewhere else and say it to someone else, not to me.